Assalamualaikum. Okey, sekejap eh. Alamak. Um. Uh. Okey. Sekejap eh. Ya. Yeah. Lock like that. Oh, music. Okey. Saya tahu music dia sedap. Oh, semua dah benar lah. Okay. So, let me just explain tentang video game Hitman ni. Hitman ni, dia tentang mamat botak ni. Agent 47 nama dia. So, Agent 47 ni ialah hired assassin. Hired professional killer. So, dia ditugaskan, dia diberi duit, diberi tugasan untuk bunuh beberapa orang-orang elit ataupun tak elit. Siapa-siapa lah yang dia perlu bunuh, dia kena bunuh. Uh, game Hitman ni, uh, special ni ialah daripada dulu lagi, is about awak infiltrate. Awak masuk senyap-senyap ke dalam kawasan yang ada orang jahat tu, yang perlu dibunuh tu. Dan dalam awak nak infiltrate, dalam awak nak macam mengkaji tempat tu, awak kena tukar pakaian, awak kena subdue, awak kena pingsankan mana-mana pekerja dia ataupun orang-orang awam untuk tukar baju, untuk tukar baju dan jadi awak boleh masuk ke dalam rumah orang tu ke bangunan orang tu ke pergi jadi macam awak boleh in disguise awak boleh menyama so that, kemudiannya game ni biasanya ialah awak boleh bunuh dalam macam-macam cara awak boleh tembak je dia awak boleh uh, poison kan dia dalam air dia awak boleh letak racun tikus dalam air dia lepas tu dia sakit perut dia pergi toilet dia pergi toilet tu dalam toilet tu awak boleh benam kepala dia dalam toilet sama dia mati Ataupun awak boleh jerut dia dengan tali Ataupun awak boleh tolak dia bawah Awak boleh bagi dia meletup Awak boleh macam-macam accident Dia boleh jalan tiba-tiba awak boleh meletupkan lampu ni Bam lampu tu jatuh atas dia dan dia mati Macam-macam cara So dia That is why video game ni Dia uh, very open Dan sekarang ni Hitman ni makin lama makin besar Makin besar dia punya level tu So dan dalam satu level tu Mungkin awak kena bunuh 2-3 orang macam tu Ya, yeah, so um, Ya, yeah, so kita try This is the this is Hitman 3 Then probably the last Hitman ever um, Dan kita akan try the first campaign story uh, Which I don't know apa lagi Game ni kemudian graphic game ni PS5 ni lagi lah game, uh, Graphic game ni best Music ni sebenarnya pun best um, dan kemudiannya dia punya narration, dia punya storytelling tu macam pada saya macam it's really good. Saya belajar banyak in English writing, in 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 apa lagi macam um, dia punya konsep dan even uh, level design dia uh, macam-macam lagi yang buatkan saya macam gempak gila. Uh, dan makin lama makin gempak Hitman. Dia ada flop lah, dia ada season dia yang memang flop. Kemudiannya dia naik balik dengan Hitman 1 episode 2, ni episode 2, ni episode 3. And the ending Ok so kita tengok yang campaign story for the first one Hitman 3 ni ada 7 negara ke 6 negara kena pergi So setiap negara tu ada ada tu Dan dia based on event Ada tu tengah fashion show So awak boleh bunuh uh, designer tu Masa dia tengah buat fashion show jadi model ke benda ke Awak boleh jadi uh, apa benda Kita tengok eh Nanti saya saya terangkan sikit je lah So awak tengok dan awak boleh faham lebih Masya Allah Training prologue, ini ialah training saja. Um, so, ini ialah Hitman 1, Hitman 2, Hitman 3. Story submissions. Uh, Hitman, Hitman, Hitman 2 ni tak ada lah. Sebabnya saya tak install. Ni PS4 saya. Ni dulu saya dah main lah. Masa PS4. So, this is Hitman 3. So, we're going to go for Hitman 3. Sekejap lah. Hit destination apa? Ah, so, for Hitman 4 ni, kita akan pergi ke Dubai. Okay. So, you nampak tu Bush Al-Khalifa. Ah... Uh, England, Dartmoor, 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 German, Berlin, Chongqing, China, Chongqing, China, Chongqing, China, Chongqing, yang mana saya stuck masa saya buat travelling mall, saya stuck dalam lift selama satu jam lebih, dengan Siti Elizad, kemudian Elizad tak nak keluar dari lift tu, dia menangis sebab dia fobia, Argentina, kita going to Mendoza, okay, and Romania, Carpathian Mountains, Sampai situ. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so 6. Eh. Wait, ada lagi? 
Oh no, ni sebelum lah, aku ajak saya. This is Himan 2. Uh, di, ni Himan 2. Uh, ni Himan 3. Himan 3 akan start dengan Dubai. Uh, featured. So, kita try for Himan 2. So, dalam, dalam, apa ni? Uh, dalam you make every mission tu, you boleh, dia ada challenges je. You nak bunuh dengan sniper, you nak bunuh apa-apa uh, dengan cara apa-apa cara pun. Nanti kita akan tengok macam mana apa benda yang ada. Okay. So, rah. Okay, kita go for the cinematic one dulu. Cut scene one opening dia. Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. <laughs> I'm making it more dramatic. Okay, so itu ialah nak menunjukkan bahawa Agent 47 ni dengan Diana tu. Diana ni lah like orang yang suruh Agent 47 ni bunuh ni, bunuh ni, bunuh ni, bunuh ni. Okay. So, Diana ni very, very classy. Dia macam uh, Disney mysterious gila. So, awal-awal dulu Hitman Wahid tu tu kita tahu rupa Diana macam mana. Ni lama-lama boy kita dapat tahu macam rupa dia. So, that's the opening untuk penerangan. Sekarang kita go for mission on top of the world. It's going to be on Dubai, in Dubai, okay? So, what do Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And just maybe look towards the future. 37. It's time. Wow. What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations over. 
Diana, that's the status. Right. I We have a situation. Miss or Diana. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Hello, dengar tak? Lah, okey. Okey, dengar tak sekarang? Sebelum saya terus cakap banyak 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 cakap, perlu ada banyak cakap dah. Ala la 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 la. Saya terangkan balik. Uh, okay. Uh, ini ialah objektif. Kita kena bunuh Carl Ingram dengan juga Marcus 
Stuyvesant Kemudiannya ada plan second Ia the planning Sama ada start location dekat Bush Al-Khalifa punya uh, Bush Al-Ghazali punya exterior Which that's the only option for now uh, Selalunya kita boleh bawa additional weapon Additional weapon, additional gear Untuk bawa sekali Tapi for now kita tak boleh nak bawa apa-apa Sebab dia daripada langit Dia pakai skydiving suit um, So smuggle item ni So even sekarang pun ada fiber wire je yang yang kita yang kena bawa dengan coin. Coin ni memang untuk campak jadi macam enemy akan dengar bunyi coin tu dia akan pergi check tempat sana so kita boleh menyeludup masuk. So play um oh dah start dah. Saya tak nak tekan pula play. Nanti saya terangkan yang lebih. Welcome to Dubai. Today is the inauguration of the scepter and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. So ni challenges. Hello dengar tak? Oh my god. Mute lagi. Hello, hello. Alamak. Penuh benda kawan. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. Betul eh? Alamak saya. Saya punya wire ni dia memang kerana macam keluar. Okay, ni inventory. Ini Intel. Intel ialah you kena jalan-jalan, you kena dengar apa pekerja dia cakap ke mana ke. Set senyap. So, you boleh dapat Intel. Mission story ialah you kena... Sama lah. Maksudnya Intel akan jadi mission story. Uh, ini challenges. Challenges ialah you boleh bunuh dengan... Uh, uh, target fiber wire tadi ataupun tasteless tasteless you bunuh dia dengan ubat uh, poison masuk dalam makanan ke air ke apa benda ke uh, hold my hair ialah you bunuh dia dengan lemaskan dia uh, straight shot you bunuh dia dengan headshot someone could hurt themselves ini guna accident apa-apalah nanti kita boleh tengok apa possibility pick your poison Uh, inilah elemen ikan dia by making him eat poison food. So maksudnya dia akan ada makan. So masa sebelum makanan tu sampai ke meja dia, kita kena pergi ke makanan dia, kena poisonkan dulu. But the thing is that, kita kena cari poison dulu dan cepat-cepat pergi ke uh, kawasan kitchen, masukkan dalam, mak dalam makanan dia dan baru berjaya. Uh, vertical approach, eliminate Marcus Stuyvesant by pushing, dumping on pulling him. Oh ni, ni banyak lagi lah challenges. Nanti kita akan tengok. Tapi janji bunuh je dah settle lah. Tapi ini additional. Alright. So dia ada discovery juga. Discovery ni ialah you boleh jalan-jalan. You boleh tengok tengok tempat dia. Ha. Dia makin banyak sebenarnya. Benda-benda ni. Ha, ini paling the classic tu lah. Silent Assassin ni. Too much to tell but you know kita tu je. 47. Come in 47. Do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there.
Hello, hello. I seriously can I do something about this? Locked. 47, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the Windows controls from here. Aha! Uh -huh. So this is where we use the camera. Abba, look at that. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Need that scan scan. Tapi dia ada... Yeah, I think uh, yeah, okay, masih R1. So R1 ni macam you nak di uh, AJ47 dia boleh detect kalau ada orang kat sebelah dinding ke benda ke. Basically almost like every game mesti ada that feature where you can actually scan and trace. Boleh dengar tak? Hello? Kalau boleh dengar cakap. Okay. So uh, ini kita kita dah dalam bangunan ni dah bangunan Bush Al Khalifa tu. It's called Bush Al Ghazali of course dia tak boleh nak bagi nama betul. So enter is So dia dah tukar baju. to explore. Ah, uh, saya nak bagi tahu je. Nak buat reflection ni, ada character dekat cermin. It's actually very hard. It's not as dia memang senang nak buat, tapi boleh jadi start reflection dia, tapi it will be very CPU and GPU taxing. So sometimes sebenarnya cara untuk buat dalam game, you ada reflection ni gila is to make two dua karakter kat dalam sebelah sana dan dia kena mirror dengan uh, dia punya dia punya karakteristik kena mirror dengan apa benda yang kita control okey okey terlalu information saya buat eh okey saya tak boleh masuk ke dalam ni sebenarnya tapi tak ada orang pun perasan saya basically saya boleh masuk dan kalau saya nak tukar baju tapi sebelum kita tukar baju ke benda ke Why not kita jalan-jalan? Hey, how are you? Siapa pun apa sampai bush al Khalifa? Is there something like this? Vault. Kita boleh turun ke bawah untuk ni. Subdue ni ialah saya cekik dia sama dia pingsan. Lock from the other side. So, no good. And then design game ni. The... Hello, sir. Thank you. Look at that. Sebenarnya uh, studio IOI ni, one on one ni lah, YOI. Uh, studio dia kecil je. You know, that's why I like so much about Europeans, especially Germans. Dereng macam so... Okay, I tak tahu lagi dia punya ni. Ke ada eh? Tadi kita dapat ni, okay. Uh, welcome... 
Oh tak ada apa-apa pun Kadang-kadang kita kena survey je Kadang-kadang ada orang tertinggal something Kat atas meja tu So kita boleh pakai Saya boleh subdue dia Dan saya boleh pakai baju dia You know Dia minum tak? Tak minum Saya terlanggar dah, saya dimarah. Is super uncomfortable, sir. Oh, it's a Hello? Okay. So, kalau saya nak pakai baju mamat ni sebenarnya. Kan, mamat ni. What I can do is, basically, I just buka air ni overflow. And mamat tu akan masuk tu tutup. Di tengah masuk tu saya boleh tutup pintu ni. Saya boleh subdue dia. And. Um, pakai baju dia. Bila saya dah pakai baju ni. Which I think baju what? Bellboy? Concierge? Apa benda? Um, housekeeping. Bila dia, saya dah pakai baju tu. Saya banyak access. Boleh masuk tempat. Tapi sebelum saya kita buat apa-apa planning. Uh, let's just survey tempat ni dulu Kalau awning Awning akan uh, Subdue semua Boleh subdue semua But you're gonna get into trouble lah In no time lah Jom interact jap Listen I want to talk to the partners directly Make them understand Why all of this is happening And that terminal Gives me an idea There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. Okay, so uh, this is one of the mission story. Um, kita kena pergi server room near the Sheikh. Personal reception. If you can get access to it, we might be able to recover useful intent from it. We we'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. So, kena cari ni, server room ni. Which is... Server room. Saya tak, tak sure kat mana So this is the um Oh 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 Saya termasuk bar so dia ada dia tak suka Oh ya yeah, big difference Valhalla dengan Hitman Tapi kena faham jugalah Valhalla tu di open world and then dia banyak sangat assets to render and everything uh, Ini bukan open world pun It, ini basically uh, linear Can I go here? Yeah, okay. I can go here. Enjoy the exhibit, sir. Okay. 
Saya so, sepatutnya infiltrate staff area tu Tapi saya just nak explore dulu tempat ni You know So you have a little bit of ideas Outside lounge. Right there. That's Marcus Stipes, Providence partner, self entitled and arrogant little worm. He might not look like much, but he's done more damage to the world than you could dream. So inilah kita punya target sebenarnya yang kita kena bunuh. Kita boleh bunuh dia sekarang tapi of course kita akan get into trouble and kita akan terus mati kan. Kemudiannya uh, Hitman ni ialah it's a game about you need to kill, settlekan uh, target semua, kemudiannya you you kena exit pada specific place. Dalam keadaan dia boleh jalan-jalan sini dengan guard dia, it's not a good planning untuk uh, ni lah. You can actually just follow dia je kan. There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 40 seconds? I just hope he's got his papers, but I heard rumors that he used to work with that Dawood Rangan, you know? Bollywood producer who died doesn't sound promising. Bollywood producer who died last he meant to you kena pergi India. Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. If you can locate him, we should be able to get within strangling distance of the little worm. Ini apa ni? Okay, let's go. Uh, doing the. Let's go do the. Mana? Ada? Eh, si tu. Oh, saya kena masuk dalam tu. So, I think... Um, I can guna cara tu lah. Oh, saya tak explore lagi sebelah sini eh. Tolong masuk ya. Hey you, where do you think you're going? Definitely not through 
So let's try, eh? Yeah, it's at the top. Yes, so saya dah ada key card dia Cumanya It's dangerous Untuk saya biarkan dia Macam ni Saya kena dropkan dia juga Okay, so now Alamak, dia kena camera Oh, dia kena ada kunci ni Ah, terus ke sini. That's good. Malam awal ni ya. Oh, so back to level one. Kalau ada yang putih atas kepala dia tu, maksudnya dia sejenis cam pekerja-pekerja. So, tiba-tiba ada pekerja yang macam pakai baju pekerja, tapi macam tak kenal dia ni. Uh, dia akan mula perasan. So saya nak try masuk pergi ke Alamak Ni pakai password Ada password tak? Um, Staff key card je Sekarang dah boleh dah Locate the missing recruit Ay kat bawah pula
Ni apa ni? Pick up iron. Iron. Boleh pick up iron tapi boleh baling lah. Itu je not much pun. About. Um. Mana mesin rekod tau Besar gila saya tak tahu saya, saya kat mana ni Oh there Ada orang kat sini But this is awful. I mean, I'm in my boxers and you are a woman. It's just, it's just so embarrassing. Oh, it's nothing I haven't seen before. But you don't understand. I'm military. We military men are used to punctuality. I, I was supposed to be ready and present my papers half an hour ago. Okay, locker key. Start access. New recruits order. Papers detailing the new recruits prior bodyguard assignments. And duties and order that to appear at the tower. Ah, okay. Okay, so with this, kita boleh menyamar sebagai bodyguard pula. Bila bodyguard, kita boleh masuk tempat yang... Yang yang lebih uh, high security. So, kita punya cari lockernya. Oh, ni. Is it? Alamak. The army with your papers. Super Mark Choi. I get it. I get it. Yes. Are you making fun of me? That's so cruel. Do you, do you, do you know what a man is without his gun? <laughs> man in his boxers. Crying like a baby. Uh, you women will never understand. <laughs> and I don't think we ever will. Oh. Okay, kita kena dress up seperti dia. Nampak dia pasan. Stop the key for 706. Apa-apa kita
Kau sokot lah ni Okay um... Sekejap eh mana Okay So, saya nak tunggu si oh, mamak ni datang. Eh. Macam mana nak panggil ke sini? <coughs> ini belum target lagi. Ini just... Ini baru... Bagi koin lagi Tak dengar pula Okay Siapa buka pintu ni? Ni kena buat dia tidur. Okey, maksudnya present yourself at the security office. should I address him? It's classified, so you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Wait for markers in the security office. Which is here, is it? Sir, this is security. Just calling to let you know your new guard is finally arrived. Yes, sir.
Siapa dia sponjit dalam ni? Tapi I'm just showing it to you guys Mumbai I heard that was a shit show Okay, you must be my new escort I have very high standards And trust you will do your duty You have your credentials on you? Okay, let's see here Well, you have been around the world Mumbai, Italy, France, Japan This is a very impressive CV I think you'll do. Come on, let's walk. Need to tell you a bit about what I expect from you. I expect you to be by my side 24/7, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important, delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife, and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. Bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost hit. You have to understand. I didn't get where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. With a knife? That's where the talent lies. My fathers are always used to say, if you are good with a knife, you're even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted men that would throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, you get out of here, and I never want to see your face again. It's just hope is half as good as you were. Only time will tell. What I know now. You cocky idiot. Boleh tak saya balik kat mamat ni? Let me make Carl Ingram. Pull up. So Carl Ingram ni kat mana? Level 2. I got level rubber. I got level 2. Oh no. Oh. Carl Ingram level 4. Where am I? Clear lah dia punya ni
Ya, yeah, sejujurnya. Tapi masalahnya saya dah... Saya dah uh, bunuh dah Mamat tu. Kalau ni tak tahu kat mana dia. Sekejap eh, mission story Oh ni lost sebab kita dah bunuh tu dah Join the meeting with Karin Grum Ni belum lagi Join the meeting with Karin Grum The Zana Kazem aka The Vulture One of the top agents working for Kristen Dawn The Pan-African Terrorist Organization Oh I almost hired him myself once but choose the mail the maelstrom instead now what is his business here Cuma nak dapat mana? Disguise as Zana. Okay. Are you not going anywhere? Yes. Go there. Hello, ma. Nampak. Oh,
<laughs> Talk to Omar. Hey, buddy, bud. Sorry, I just need to do a quick search if you want to get through. Just routine. Alamak. Saya kena dropkan weapon saya sekejap. Oh, Mr. Oh, Kazim. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Sorry, sir. I'm going to go to Looking good today, sir. Besar tu tempat dia. Please, go in and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Thank you. Allah ada ni pula. Ni clear dalam ni. Alamak. Matilah. So itu yang uh, itu yang bahayanya lah. Basically this game, you can make sure pergerakan tu cun ya. Saya terambil ya benda lah tu. Paper cutter. Oh, Mr. Kazim, I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Sorry. 
Sini, sini. Comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Thank you. Tak, duduk. Kalau Ingram ni masuk dan ada gad-gad dia ni, How to settle? Mr. Kazim, a pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's good. And won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. That's Carl Ingram, Providence partner and brass bald billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. Oh, the shortcut, yeah? Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. This area is a restricted area and I can't let you, let you in. Whatever. I don't want to talk about Okay, okay. So I did say Punya. Mr. Lund, 
I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Is that okay? You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. Mana nak bawa dia? No, I just doesn't feel right. You must be working for the Sheik or something. I don't know. My gut says walk away, and that's what I'm doing. Bye. Mr. Lok. I think I might be able to help you. Follow me. We need to find somewhere more quiet. Okay, I'm interested. After you. Why that door? Ah, toilet, jela. In here. Wait for me here. I'll be back as soon as possible. All right. Whatever it is, better be good. Oh, oh, no. Come on, crime notice. Take a picture. Um. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Mana asisten dia? Oh, atas sana. Okay, betul. And how are you today, sir? Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture. Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. Yes, Mr. Kazim. Please follow me. You have had time to see the art exhibition. His Royal Highness has a keen eye for the arts. If you haven't yet, I highly recommend it. Who can't take the graphic there? I mean, on PS5 and on HDR TV, better. Longer than I have known him. 
Everything here is completely self-sufficient. Electricity, internet, even water is clean and reused. It's the first of its kind like this. Mr. Ingram is expected. Yes, your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Oh, sorry. We have Ingram right where we want him. 47, you know what to do. Have a drink. It's something to behold. Uh, I use this one. Why is it so long like you? Damn. Oh, sorry. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. We have Ingram right where we want him. Excuse me for a second. 47, you know what to do. Have a drink. It's something to behold. Okay. Oh, man here will stay for the meeting. I assume that will not be a problem. Either way, you have no choice in the matter. It's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim. Well, maybe not. I usually have my people talk to people like you. I can imagine. I don't know how much Omar, I mean. The Royal, the Royal Highness, Highness has, told has told you, but my, but my guess, guess is very is little, little, so let me get straight to the point. point. My organization, organization has been has hit been by an unpleasant, unpleasant cancer, cancer that can only, that can only be, removed be removed by cutting, by cutting it out of the, out of the gut. gut, if you get my drift. Yes, yes. I, do. I do. Good. This little this turd, turd is spreading his vile, vile toxic, toxic cells, cells, and I want him stopped. Brutally. Chemo won't remove him. Only the knife. File here. Arthur Edwards, a sly little devil if there ever was one. Me and my associates, well, we underestimated the little worm. We want revenge. I think you and I share a common interest. I doubt that. You to make him suffer. This is not a horse that needs to be put out of its misery. A dog. Mr. Kazim. Yes. yes. Consider, Consider it done. done. Good. We're now in business. We are. I'll have Miss Toe send you anything you need. We're done here. Oh, uh, one last question. Just curious. Your nickname, The Vulture. Why? I find it's best to wait for the perfect kill. I think you'll be perfect for the job. Nice to meet you, Mr. Kazim. 
I look forward to receiving an update. Safe hunting. Mr. Kazem, you need to listen to me. Follow me and don't get sidetracked. Mr. Kazem, you need to listen to me. Follow me and don't get sidetracked. How are you, sir? Okay, so as a salamai, you good. Um, how about we load? From the last, this one. Reaching eleven. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. We have Ingram right where we want him. Please make yourself at home. You know what to do. So it says about Achun Aido. My man here will stay for the meeting, I assume that will not be a problem. Either way, you have no choice in the matter. It's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim. Well, well, maybe not. I usually have my people talk to people like you. I can imagine. I don't know how much Omar. I mean, the Royal Highness has told you, but my guess is very little, so let me get straight to the point. My organization has been hit by an unpleasant cancer that can only be removed by cutting it out of the gut, if you get my drift. Yes, I do. Good. This little turd is spreading his vile, toxic cells, and I want him stopped. Brutally. Chemo won't remove him. Only the knife. I have his file here. Arthur Edwards. A sly little devil if there ever was one. Me and my associates, well, we underestimated the little worm. We want revenge. I think you and I share a common interest. I doubt that. But I want you to make him suffer. This is not a horse that needs to be put out of its misery. This is a rabid dog. That needs to be put down. Am I making myself clear, Mr. Kazim? Yes. yes. Consider it done. Good. We're now in business. We are. I'll have Miss Toe send you anything you need. We're done here. Oh, well. One last question. I'm just curious. You're nicknamed the Vulture. Why? I find it's best to wait. For the perfect kill. I think you'll be perfect for the job. Nice to meet you, Mr. Kazim. I look forward to receiving an update. Safe hunting. Guard! Yes, Mr. Ingram? Please show Mr. Kazim out. Yes, sir. Mr. Kazim, please follow me. Mr. Kazim, you need to listen to me. Follow me and don't get sidetracked. Let me down. No, so I'm not going there. Oh, yep. Mr. Kazem, you need to listen to me.
Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. We have Ingram right where we want him. 47, you know what to do. Okay. I need to serve him. Oh, tak boleh. Kita kena jadi... Good idea. Yes. Um, where was I? It's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim. Well, well, maybe not. I usually. Uh, uh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Uh -huh. Oh, you need to you change your crawlies after, after that. that. Uh huh? Yeah. Keep your Keep distance. Your distance. Cuisine working out for you. Man, so I go here and drown him. Boom. Soon there will be no more providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. So sekarang ni kena selaju mungkin selamatkan diri ini. Really? I've been here? We got to be a lah. Locate the exit. Satu exit je yang tu. Lain semua lock. Selagi saya tak exit, tak game lagi. Oh, tingginya. Oi. That's good, sir. Keep going. Sudah so, exit. Alright, gam. Saya rasa saya baju saya kat sini je. Civilians Nampak Is it Ok 
Okay, back to this place. Jauh ni. Uh oh. Okay, saya tak boleh. Tak pernah saya go bawah je lah. my challenges Ini ialah oh, okey. So saya dah sekarang ni dah ada new starting location, atrium lobby terus. So tak payah nak pakai uh, yang you know parachute suit tu. So the next time saya repeat uh, mission tu, saya boleh terus start kat sini. Uh, saya boleh start dekat dekat meeting room terus. Cuma Your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. Okay, but um, you know, dah pukul 11 dah. So, this is basically game of Hitman. Uh, probably, dia tak ada story sangat. Awal-awal, mungkin uh, most of you guys are yawning. Mungkin berbosan ke apa dia ke, is it? Tapi, untuk, because saya uh, long time fan. So, macam saya dah tahu Hitman daripada dulu lagi. So, macam saya seronok lah mungkin. Tapi, untuk you guys yang boleh tengok ni, uh, mungkin bosan sikit ke benda ke. But it's a great game. Eh? Kalau orang tanya Hitman 3, it's okay. Yeah, I watch it. It's a great game. Alright. So, thank you so much. Besok saya shoot. Uh, terima kasih banyak. 
Uh, dan juga apapun nanti insyaAllah kalau esok saya boleh okey cumanya dalam nanti saya insyaAllah akan ke Langkawi untuk syuting uh, sepanjang ke Langkawi tu memang tak ada live lah uh, okey so itulah dia tunggu saya balik semula insyaAllah okey terima kasih semua Assalamualaikum